the other day the battery in my car was dead so today we're gonna do a uh, parasitic draw test and see if there's something that's discharging the battery there's three things you want to do uh, you want to do when you have a dead battery there's three different things you're gonna want to do a test the battery and then do a load test on the battery to make sure the battery itself is good if it is check your alternator make sure that your alternator is charging and if the alternator is charging the last thing you're gonna want to do is a parasitic draw test and make sure that there's not some kind of load whether it be the radio or something that you left plugged in to a cigarette lighter something like that um, that's drawing your battery down all you need for this test is a uh, DVOM you're gonna want to set it on the amp scale and we're measuring milliamps MA milliamps anything less than a 25 milliamps is okay anything more than that is gonna be too much load for the system and it will discharge your battery so to do this test you're gonna need a multimeter and you're gonna place it in the amp setting now it's very crucial that you have it in the amp setting whenever you have it hooked up you'll notice if I flip it to volts it's gonna flip out because it's gonna blow the fuse inside if you have this plugged into the uh, unfused spot like I do. You need to be in this port here, the 10 amp one, or whatever your high amp amperage is, because you see here, 400 milliamps is not gonna be nearly enough for what we're gonna do to this um, meter. So to run this test, you need to have a fully charged battery, hook up one side, and then the other side, you're going to connect one of your meter leads to the post, and the other meter lead, you're gonna connect to the battery cable. Now it doesn't make a difference which lead you hook up where, as long as one lead goes to the post, and the other goes to the battery cable. It's just gonna show a negative reading on the meter, which is, doesn't make a difference. If you're watching closely, you saw the meter started at six amps, then it said OF. Now it's gonna drop down to about 1.3 and hang out there for the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, once you have your meter hooked up, you wanna put the key in the ignition, turn it to on, you don't want to try and start the car, just turn it to on and turn the key back off, pull it out, shut the door, and leave everything alone. Let everything uh, just shut down and go to sleep. Now my radio stays on for 10 minutes, so you'll see it hangs out here at 1.3 amps or so until the radio shuts off, and at that point it's going to drop down to, uh, I believe it was 0.12 amps or something. But that should happen here in, I don't know, the next 5 or 10 seconds. Sorry about the glare on the cell phone here. I was trying to run a, a stopwatch timer so you guys could see how long it actually took. And uh, it just didn't work out. It glared horrible. I tried moving it and nothing really seemed to make a difference. There you go. We just dropped down to 0 0.12 amps and it stays there for the next 20 minutes. So let's skip ahead in the video because you're not going to see anything other than glare on a cell phone and a meter that says 0 0.122 amps. And we're right at the half hour mark and my meter dropped down to 7 milliamps. That means the body module just shut down, which controls pretty much everything else in the car. And uh, everything's working appropriately. We're down to 7 milliamps. That's well within the 25 milliamp range. So I do not have a draw on this electrical system. It's working properly. I've only got 7 milliamps. So honestly, why did this battery go dead? I don't know. I'm hoping it was a fluke, but it passed a low test. I've tested the alternator, it's putting out appropriate amount. There's no draw on it. Who knows? Maybe it just sat too long and we didn't use it enough. Honestly, this kind of stuff does happen from time to time. Now hopefully this was just a fluke, but sometimes you do have electrical gremlins that just kind of come and go. You drive the car and your wires kind of bounce and move and shuffle a little bit and all of a sudden the problem's gone and then it comes back. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful or at least interesting. If you guys have any questions, please drop down in the comments. Let me know. I'll try and point you in the right direction. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'd greatly appreciate it. And stick around for the next video. I will see you then.